Hey guys, guess what we're doing tonight? Kebabs. We are so excited that springtime is almost here. The weather is getting really warm outside and even though it's the first of March, we wanted to celebrate by doing um, some outdoor cooking and enjoy the nice weather. So we have kebabs on our little portable grill out here and they are gonna look yummy. So we're gonna show you guys how to do these. Okay, for our ingredients and our kebabs, we start with the wooden dowels or sticks. Um, these are soaked in just some water for about an hour, just to make sure that they don't burn when we put them on our grill. And we have lots of meats and vegetables, um, and even tomatoes, which could be a fruit or vegetable, depending on where you're from in the world. Um, this is steak, this is sirloin steak tips. I had a marinating for about an hour in some pineapple juice and teriyaki sauce. Then we have our chicken that's been uh, cut up as well and it's been marinating in Italian dressing. We also have some uh, rough chopped onion. This is a badalia onion or a sweet onion. And we have some bell peppers. We have red, yellow, and green for some bright color. And we have some pineapple. So again, you can make these however you want to. This is how we're gonna make our kebabs. All right, so we have our skewers that were soaked in water. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a piece of meat on it. We have our steak here that's been marinating. And then I'm gonna alternate the different ingredients. So I'm gonna start with an onion, and then maybe a bell pepper for some color. Maybe a different color bell pepper. And maybe a piece of chicken. And we'll do a tomato, make it bright and colorful. These are the smaller tomatoes. And then another piece of steak and another onion. And then we'll do a green bell pepper. And we'll do one more, how about yellow bell pepper? So this is how I've designed ours. You can design them however you want. You can even get the kids involved and let them design their own skewer. Um, if you want one that's just steak and pineapple, you could do that. Um, I love pineapple, but not everyone in my family loves pineapple. So if you wanna just do a steak and pineapple kebab or a chicken and pineapple kebab, you can do that as well. So we're just gonna mix these up and put them on our little grill in just a minute. So there's another version of a kebab as well. So we'll do a couple more of these and then we'll get them on our grill. Okay, we've got our kebabs made. Um, some of them are chicken and steak. Some of them are just chicken. Uh, this one was just chicken with tomatoes and onions. Uh, this one is a little bit of everything. Um, it's got steak, tomatoes, onions, peppers. Uh, this one is chicken and steak with peppers and onions. And this one is just steak and pineapple. So we have all different variety here. Uh, you can make them all veggie or all beef. Um, you can even do dessert kebabs with like bananas and strawberries and drizzled chocolate with them, maybe a little um, pound cake on there. So make them fun and present them however you'd like to do that. And then we're gonna go take these to the grill and grill them up. Hey guys, so welcome to our outdoor setup here. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of grilling on our small grill pan on our little portable um, stove here that we have. It is a beautiful day outside. I wanted to take advantage of our beautiful spring day. It's around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's just perfect to get an early start on spring. Um, so even though it's the first of March, it's a beautiful day. So I've started by putting uh, three of our skewers on our pan at a time, and I'm gonna turn those around the three to four minute mark so that they get cooked on each side. Because some of these have chicken in them, and you need to get your chicken to cook until about 165 degrees, you wanna make sure your chicken's well done, then you'll need to cook those until that chicken is done. Um, if the ones that have steak don't have any chicken on them, then you can cook those to whatever temperature you like your steak. If you like it medium or medium rare or well done, um, that's your decision. So we're gonna flip these every now and then so that they're turned uh, about every three to four minutes. All right, these guys are cooking up. I've turned them, rotated them once. You can see where they're getting the grill marks on the side. And we're gonna keep rotating those around until they're cooked all the way through. All 
right guys these are almost done they're looking fabulous so you'll want to use a thermometer for the ones that have chicken um, such as this one and this one and check and just make sure those chicken pieces are at the right temperature before you take them off the grill otherwise you can take them off as soon as everything looks brown and toasty and so our finished kebabs look great we still have a few more that are cooking up and if you like these and like these types of ideas please like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what type of kebabs you like to do we'll see you next time thanks bye